Welcome folks, this is Steve with Tribe of One, and this is the second mini-sequel to the Master the Media page video covering the DaVinci Resolve user reference manual step-by-step. -step. That video went pretty long, as do most of them in this series, because we are trying to be very detailed and go step-by-step. -step. So there was a couple things left out that I decided that I could make their own short little videos. The very last one I recorded and uploaded a couple days ago was how to use the clone tool. So you should check that out if you've got any interest in that. And this one is about relinking your media when it goes offline. If you've been using DaVinci Resolve for any length of time, you've probably come across this dreaded screen, the red media offline screen. Now basically this happens when the path to the media file has changed. DaVinci Resolve sees the path as one thing and when it goes to look for it there, it doesn't find it. Now this happens to me daily because I use two different machines to do my videos. I edit on a laptop and I record the videos on a desktop in my studio. So I tend to import and export the projects back and forth to you know either shoot footage or edit footage. And on my laptop, everything is held on the D drive. The rest of the file path is exactly the same because all my footage is kept on a cloud server so everything after the D drive is the same as my desktop except on my desktop it's all kept on the C drive so when I import the project into my desktop it tries to go find it on the D drive and there is no D drive here so when I import the first thing I see is this all of my footage looks like it's offline so I can't do any video editing or anything, there's nothing there. So I have to go ahead and relink it. Now also, this may happen if you have gone into File Explorer and changed the name of any folders or any files. If I was to go into File Explorer and change the name of this file, it wouldn't be able to find it in the project anymore. I would have to relink this to the newly named file. So basically, whenever you see this, it's a very easy fix. Go ahead and select all of your files, right click and you'll see down here at the bottom two different things relink selected clips and change source folder now there's there's a pretty important difference here the change source folder is the old way that DaVinci had to do this before they incorporated the relink selected clips command and with change source folder you have to know the exact folder that holds that media file directly inside of it. If it's inside of another folder inside of it, uh, it won't find it correctly. And then if you have, let's say all of these files here are in several different subfolders of a parent folder. Well, when I try to just change the source folder and pick that parent folder, it's not going to find every one of them because you need to go to each one and then retell DaVinci exactly which folder it belongs in. So they incorporated the relink selected clips, which basically all you have to do is choose the highest level folder that includes either the media directly or includes other folders that hold the media. You could even just click on your C drive if you wanted to or your D drive, whatever your hard drive is named, and it will search through that whole hard drive to find it. Now that takes a while, so my suggestion is just simply find the highest level folder that contains everything, which in my case is this tribe of one folder. If everything that I have is in is somewhere inside of these folders. So when I hit select folder and it all comes back online. And there you go. Now I could actually continue to edit. And I if you heard a weird little noise there, my cat just decided to jump up and start rubbing on my microphone. Come on, Rupert, get down. And here all your folder all your files are back in sync and you can continue editing and it really is that simple you can do that for any of your bins that you have in your project where the media is offline see all of these bins went offline and I, all I have to do is grab them relink selected clips uh, let's see those are my audio so I believe those are all still in my tribe of one yes and there we go now they're all back online well I hope you learned something from that something useful 
uh, when you need to relink your media, just select the clips, right click, select relink, selected clips, and choose the highest parent folder that they're included in and you will be back up and running. Thank you for watching this video and until the next one, live to learn and learn to live.